So today I'm finally getting around to doing something that I've wanted to do for ages. Now, we watched Amy and Wes's video a few nights ago, mm -hmm. their recent one, um, where a th I think a group of three lads basically jumped on the side of their boat, started rocking it. They did it twice. Um, and Amy and Wes had security cameras, which is something that we haven't got. And the closer we're getting to London, we're just getting more and more anxious about leaving the boat. So it's something we're going to have to do. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm a bit of an anxious soul at heart, so I think hopefully this will put my mind at ease a little bit and we'll just be yeah. able to see what's going on, I think, more so. Yeah, or we're going to become curtain switchers and not be able to leave our phones alone. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this week's video is very kindly sponsored by Rio Link. Um, I've been looking at a few different brands of cameras and stuff over the years. One thing I really didn't want is to have to pay a monthly subscription to access the cameras via the internet whilst we're away from the boat. Um, so I'll get them opened up now. I've not actually looked at them too much since they've arrived, so I can't wait. I'm just staring at the boxes. <laughs> so we've gone for not one, but two Argus 3 Ultras, um, which are 4K cameras, and I've gone for the solar panels as well. Um, so for anyone like us living on a boat without proper mains power, um, these cameras are fully wireless and they'll keep themselves topped up with the solar panels. Oh, don't mind me, with my mushroom knife. It's very rusty. Careful. <laughs> There's your instructions, Joe, that you're going to read very thoroughly. Thank you. <laughs> so I was just thoroughly reading the instructions as I do with every product that I buy. Um, first thing I'm going to do is charge these up fully, which it recommends, and they actually come with a USB-C cable, so you don't even need mains power, because you can just put them into our USB-C sockets. Handy. So I'll charge both of these up fully, um, and then we'll look at mounting the brackets and figure out where we're going to put them on the boat. usb -C. In the meantime, we're just deciding where it's best to mount this rear one. And then you have to use a pole, which I actually bought for our signal booster for the Wi-Fi. So I could mount that on here as well, which would be handy. Um, so I think I have to allow for the hatch to slide back, and it goes mounted where the hatch lands, or comes up over on the side here, a bit less on the angle. I think where this is. Yeah. Are we going for the dead middle? The hat can't come back into the hat. Let me open the hat. Kiss me, you little. What do you want? So Joe's just put the pole thing up on the roof. So now we've got two solar panels, which I'm going to open up. Right, mount wise for solar panel. Either we go into the roof or do the same with this. They've got like a connection to go onto that and I'm going to think of a jubilee clip. Panel. Can you pass me on the panels please? Yeah, that works. Oh no, need them. 
and feed the Jubilee clip round when I get one the right size. I don't know if I've got one here. I've got some cable ties for now though, just to install it quickly. I'm gonna nip to the shops after and get some Jubilee clips, but for now, this will have to. You'll just have to pretend with me that that's secure there. <laughs> um, same again on this one. How's it going? Yeah, good, yeah. yeah not too bad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice one. You're right. Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Can't remember his name. He's got a stunning boat. <laughs> Next up, gonna fit the one out here on the bow. I'm gonna put it under this lip here. I think it's gonna be the best place. Danny. Yeah. Can you come sign off on my plans? As plan. Up on this wall. And pointing this way, up towards the door. But what if we're on the other side? Well, they've, they've got to come through this door. Okay. Or up here, looking back. Can you have it up in the top corner up there? Up here? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That's what I was thinking. I could just screw it into this then? Yeah. Right then. That way? Yeah. <laughs> so point, pointing so. back, so the view's going to be... Like this, but it's obviously wide angle, isn't it? Looking back at the door, keep making sure that's safe and it will alert if any of these get opened up. I think so, because then if someone did try and break in, you'd be looking at this door, they wouldn't necessarily notice, but if they saw that there, they could see it. Yeah, as long as you guys don't tell them where don't our do camera's it. hidden. Please, we love our home. <laughs> right, um, so I will get the mount and then the solar panel can go on. Yeah. Do you say you're making a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> One thing we've learned since being closer or further away from the K&A is how fast people go past the boat. They don't tend to slow down that much at all. They slow down too late and then they speed up straight away after. Or I'm getting old and I'm getting boring. <laughs> uh, so these mounts are actually quite nice. They've got a sort of security thing. So the screws are hidden in behind the cap. Um, just fit that. Let me just hold it up where I think it can go first. Thank you. I just stirred my for 10 rather than 8. Do you think I'm going to be alright? You'll be fine. Yeah. Me and Danny have got Aquaworks, as I'm sure many people have got. I like the number 3, so I stir my tea 1, 2, 3 times. Um, Danny likes to stir hers 8 times. Why? Why 8? That's too many. They're, they're clockwise, but I've done it too. I'm thinking maybe I'll put it in and stir it backwards twice. No, you'll be fine. 10 times is fine. You sure? Won't you count them properly? No, you'll be fine. Does anyone else have weird quirks like that? I'm hoping you have, otherwise we are very strange. But... Quite pleased with that. There's a big spider up there. Slightly controversial, but I had to drill through or screw through the crutch cover. We'd never take it off because our boat's got a wet build so that basically the water has to come through the bottom underneath the floorboards to get 
into the bilge. It's an old design, it's a bit confusing. Um, rather than drilling into this, it just makes more sense. Downloaded the app, just scans the code. Oh well, you need to configure Wi Fi sets when you got it. Welcome to Rio Link. Please install Rio Link app and scan the QR code on the camera. Bienvenue à Rio Link. Camera is connecting to your router. Wow. Please wait. Wow. <laughs> Hello? Wow. Hello? 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 <laughs> Yeah, that's great. So that's the mic. So, oh, that's weird. So the microphone in here picks up any noises, and then I can also from the app talk to the camera. I think. Yeah, get off my boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's all going between each other. That is brilliant. Brilliant. Far too much fun to be had by that. On my shopping list, some Jubilee clips the right size to hold that on properly, and oh, the solar panels on, just got connected. I've just been messing about with the settings. Hopefully, we'll get an alert in a minute that Danny's or a burglar is out on the bow. It's really good. <laughs> There's also you can come in now. He's a with a stick. Yeah, he's a nice boy. Oh. We're losing daylight thick and fast. Can I have a light on, please. Yep. Like twenty to four, and it's already going dark. So the cameras have got built-in PIR sensors, which is what sensed Danny, and it's also sensed some fishermen, some cyclists going by. Um, but ideally you don't want to keep getting constant notifications of us going um, with people going along the towpath. So I've seen a setting, I'm hoping to be able to sort of um, minimise the area or like hone in the area that you actually want an alert. So cut off the towpath but let any let us know if anyone gets on the boat. I'm just going on here. Paint, yeah. Wow. How cool is that? So the towpath both sides, and that's if any boats go past. Um, maybe a raise a little bit there. Oh, paint that bit. Towpath. We'll be able to hone that in properly and just make sure that that actually alerts us. Yeah, I think that'd be good. Save. I think the bow's not going to pick up anyone anyway, because that's the covers both fully up. Yeah. Most of the time they're down anyways, they'll cut themselves out. 
I think that's good. Oh, I've actually got some here. I was going to say you can, um, you don't need a micro SD card, which is what the size card that they take. You don't need one for it to work and alert you on your phone and stuff. But if you want to record through the day and then be able to look back at it, you have to put a micro SD card in. Um, I've actually got a couple spare ones, so I'm going to grab them now. So last night we were playing around with the camera. Joe had the app. I still need to download that actually. <laughs> but one of my favourite features was, especially now it's winter time, when I went outside to put some rubbish out the um, front deck, the light actually come on. So that was really handy as in when we're getting on the boat, especially in the dark, but it also obviously makes people aware that... It's like a deterrent as yeah, well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And it switches over from the night mode, which was clear anyway, and you see the... Um, light literally flashes on and then it swaps over to like full colour. Yeah. Um, I was also changing around the settings this morning. Um, the cameras automatically come set on the lowest resolution. I switched them up to high uh, today just on the stern one to begin with and it's really clear. If you are on the market for some new security cameras whether that's for your boat, van or a house like a normal person um, Rio Link are actually running a Black Friday campaign over, I think it's space of a week. Um, it's up to 40% off on our website, so go and have a look. Um, we'll leave a link in the description and pinned comment if you do want to have a look. Yeah. Um, for now, we'll say bye, but there should be a video out tomorrow which continues our travels on the Thames. It's a good one. Definitely worth well, a watch. It's a stressful one, Yeah. so normally good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our patrons, and we'll see you tomorrow.